I am recording this because I'm growing pretty fast on Instagram. 15% to 25% week over week now. Every week I'm growing by 15% or 25%. And so many people are adding. My niche is marketing, marketing, growth hacking, growth marketing. All these successful entrepreneurs, other marketers or creators, famous creators are following me. Celebrities are following me. But especially with the creators, the talented creators, I'm growing faster than a lot of them. And ones who I know, I'm getting to a point where I almost have as many followers as them and I will surpass them soon. So I'm recording that this because there are people who are so much more talented than me, creators who are putting out content, who are so much more talented than me, but I'm growing faster than them. And they're putting out content at a decent amount, but I am growing faster than them. And it's just because I am using these strategies, these hacks to grow, and they are not. When I discovered these hacks, I 3x, I was at, I think, 2,500 followers when I discovered these hacks. Really like two hacks that did this. And in a week, I 3x. I 3x in a week. That was crazy when that happened. 3x my followers in a week. And now I'm growing, like I said, 15% to 25% every week. And by that point, too, I had been posting daily on Instagram for three quarters of a year, almost a full year, actually. And I had only gone viral once, and now I'm going viral several times a week. So that's why I'm recording this. That's why where my credibility comes from. I'm going to be talking about five growth hacks on this episode, really powerful ones. Many people don't know these. I learned the best one. I was recognized at a tech event in New York City. Someone came up to me, said he reads my growth hacking newsletter. By the way, that's edwardsturm.com forward slash newsletter. My weekly growth hacking newsletter. This guy came up to me, said he reads it, said it. he'd cut all of his newsletters. And mine is one of the last five ones that he didn't cut that he reads. And he loved it. He runs Instagram accounts for famous athletes. So I said, you know, you probably know some incredible things. What's your number one piece of advice for growing on Instagram? And he said, well, you know what? I'll share that in a moment when I get to the when I get to the tips, when I get to the tips. And it's going to be a good one. I, I want to also say I am very opposed to buying fake engagement. People try to sell me this every day on Instagram. People will DM me every day on Instagram trying to sell me fake followers, fake likes, fake comments. I don't want any of that. It ruins my own engagement metrics, but more importantly, it ruins my learnings. I spend every day figuring out what works on Instagram and what doesn't and other social media platforms, Instagram especially, and what doesn't. For example, yesterday, I posted two Instagram reels. Both were about TikTok. These Instagram reels flopped. They both got under 100 views. If I had been buying engagement, I wouldn't know this. If you're buying engagement, your videos will oftentimes do about even. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't know that these videos were flopping and I wouldn't have the lesson. And I know why they're flopping. The reason they're flopping is because I'm talking about TikTok. Not many people know this. If you make Instagram reels about TikTok, those reels do very, 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 very poorly. I've seen this again and again and again with my reels. If I mention TikTok, then the, re then the Instagram reel performs really, really poorly usually under 100 views. So it's very common. And if I was buying engagement, if I, if I was buying likes and followers and comments, I actually wouldn't know this. This and so many other lessons that I have got. And the followers who follow me, they are real people too. That's another thing. I know that everyone who follows me, they are real people. They are real people. They're constantly offering me big deals and opportunities on Instagram. Instagram is totally worth it as a channel. It is amazing. I'm very active on, t on TikTok. I have way more followers on TikTok. A lot of my deals are happening on Instagram, not on TikTok. My deals and opportunities. And in 2024, I think Instagram is going to drive a lot more of my revenue. It is such a good channel. It's great for community building, great for brand building. It's relevant for most brands. And there are repeatable growth hacks on it, which is what I am going to share today. These hacks give easy exposure and top of mind awareness if you are already making content. If you're already making content, these hacks will be super easy to incorporate into your Instagram workflow. If you're not, then you'll have to make content. Instagram is a platform for content. You can either 
make brand new content or do what I do and just reuse content. It's, it's magic. It really is magic. Saves me so much time. That's one of the reasons it's so good is because I've gotten so effective at repurposing well-performing content. I'm going to talk about that. And if I have one piece of content that does well someplace else, it's going to do well on Instagram Reels and it's going to grow my Instagram account. All right. So five hacks. Number one, this is my favorite, my favorite, one of my favorite tools in the world. One of my favorite growth hacking tools in the world. It's called reusevideo.com. I post either once a day on TikTok or sometimes four times a day on TikTok. My record is I posted nine times a day on TikTok one time. And I haven't missed a day posting on TikTok in around 400 days. Every time I put up a video on TikTok, whenever I put up a video on TikTok, that video gets syndicated simultaneously. At the same time, it comes out on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google Drive, and Facebook Reels. Simultaneously with no TikTok watermark. No TikTok watermark. But it's not just TikTok to all of those platforms. It can also be Instagram Reels to all of those platforms. It can be other channels to Instagram Reels. So if you're posting daily on any one of the channels that I mentioned, you can use reusevideo.com to make it so your posts are coming out simultaneously onto Instagram. This is just saves so much time. This automation saves so much time. I don't have to take every one of my posts and repost them, download them and repost them manually to Instagram Reels. This software does it automatically. It is one of my favorite tools. That's reusevideo.com, one of my favorite tools. All right, the second one, the second growth hack is very advanced, actually. And it takes some finagling to pull off, but I'm going to tell you the exact details on how to do it. So this growth hack is when you post a reel, an Instagram reels, Instagram reels will make you grow really fast. <laughs> they are amazing. Instagram reels make you grow really fast. When you post, if you post it to not the profile grid and only to Instagram reels, it will be shown to mostly new people. It will be comparable to TikTok. Actually, if you post to the profile grid, Instagram Reels is going to heavily push out your reel to your existing followers. If you post to Instagram Reels only, it's going to be shown to mostly new people, allowing you to grow really fast. And you can always take that same video and post it to your profile grid later for people to see. You can either, either in the future toggle it on or just repost it again. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But this one is quite tricky. It is tricky to get this to work. I used to have it just enabled by default that I could choose if one of my reels comes out on the profile grid or not, then I lost the ability and I had to restore it. So I'm going to tell you right now how to enable this because for a lot of people that can't figure out how to do it. And if my friend hadn't even helped me, I might not know how to do it right now. Literally before recording this, I took one of my viral videos from over 10 years ago and posted it to reels only on Instagram. So here's how you do it. You have to take an Instagram reel. You want to clear the metadata first. So I always upload it to Google Drive and then download it to Google Drive. So it says the origin is from Google Drive. So I clear the metadata, clear where it originated from, upload it to Instagram reels, but don't post it. Save it as a draft. And then you got to go back into your drafts through the Instagram reels tab. And you should see a toggle now that you didn't see before. And it'll be right there at the top. And the toggle will say, also share to feed. And you want to toggle this off. You want to toggle off, also share to feed. Now, this is where it gets really complicated. You might do what I just described. You might save it as a draft, go into the draft through the Reels tab and still not see that. And so then if that happens, here's what you have to do. You have to delete Instagram from your phone. You can keep all of your settings. You have to delete it from your phone, re-download it from the App Store, download it again. And then put up a reel, save it as a draft, go into the draft through the reels tab, and then you should see it. And I'm telling you, it's finicky. Once you post it to reels only, once you post that reel to reels only, you won't get this ability back until you delete Instagram and download it again. So every time that I want to post to reels only, which is several times a week, because this is like the trick that I am using to make my reels go consistently viral. This and another trick, which I'm going to share number three. Every time I want to do this, I have to delete Instagram and re-download it. But I don't know. Is it worth it? Well, let me read to you the performance from some of my recent reels in the last week. 
18,000, 99,000. This one I posted a few days ago, 624,000. Yeah, I like it. I think it's worth it. It's worth it to me. That 624,000, that is like, I'm getting numbers like that, I would say once a week. So doing this is really worth it. Number three, now this is the trick that I learned from that guy who runs Instagram accounts for famous athletes. This is what he told me, and this is what grew my following three times in a week. He said any content that he has that performs well, he will repost it forever. People don't get bored of good content if you post it every couple of months, as long as you post it every couple of months. If you post it too frequently, people will get bored, sure. But if you post it every couple of months, this, the hook that engaged people before will still engage them. So here's what I do specifically. It's going to be different for every person because people might be posting on different platforms. I post primarily to TikTok and then syndicate my content onto Instagram. So what I do is any video that does well on TikTok, any video that gets over 50,000 views on TikTok, I will download that video through Google Drive, like I described, and then post it to Reels only, which was growth hack number two. I'll post that to Reels only. And because it did well on TikTok, it usually does well on Instagram Reels as well. So if you have a well-performing piece of content from anywhere, it could be YouTube. Something that I just did is I took this video that went viral 10, over 10 years ago. I used my favorite editing tool is called Descript. Descript transcribes audio and then you edit in the transcript like a Word document instead of in the timeline. So it saves a lot of time and you can cut out all the gaps between words and you can make audio just sound nice with one toggle on. There's also a toggle on for a green screen. I'm using Descript to edit this podcast right now. So I use Descript. I put that landscape video up normally, even though it's in portrait mode. And then I put a background for it because it's portrait mode and I put some caption. And now all of a sudden, this landscape video from 10 years ago is mobile video ready. And I will repost that to Instagram Reels, a video that went viral over 10 years ago, and it will go viral again. So any piece of content that does well, you can keep reposting it over and over and over again. Viral content is now evergreen. It, is, it will do well over and over and over again forever. It is like magic. If you, if you hit the viral jackpot once, you now have an asset that can keep growing you every month. And if you post frequently, so you have a lot of viral content like I do, you can grow really rapidly. This is my number one trick. That's number three. Viral content is evergreen. Anything that you posted in the past that did well, post it every couple of months. Number four, this is a really simple one. It's just have a daily story, a repeatable daily story. Every morning I take a nice picture of something around me. I post it to my Instagram story. And over this picture, I write, today is going to be a great day. I write it in caps. I put today is going to be a great day in the same place every time. The only thing that changes is the background. I do this one for myself. It's an affirmation that I like to do. But two, it also really helps with top of mind awareness. And if you have something that is nice, that is pleasant, people will want to create a habit out of viewing your content. And I have seen that from lots of people. If I forget to post or I post too late, people will comment. People will say they were waiting for me to post. Today is going to be a great day. I haven't missed a day doing this. I've done it for months and months and months. Probably over six months I've been doing this now. So have just something really easy that you can do for a daily story, a picture with an affirmation or a message over it. I, another a friend of mine, he's doing this on Twitter. He says, good morning, marketers. He's a CMO chief marketing officer. And he says every day on Twitter, good morning, marketers. And it helps with top of mind awareness for people remembering you and thinking of you when they think of your niche. And then number five, this is a way to get people to go to your links. This is something that very, 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 very few people know about that I discovered that has worked really well for me, made hundreds of thousands of dollars through this one trick alone, through this one trick alone. And this is if you have a long link that you would like to share or a link that is not memorable that you would like to share and you want to share it in an Instagram reel, buy a catchy domain, a short domain that is catchy, very easy to find ones where they'll cost $10 and then redirect it to your longer link. So actually at the beginning of this, I said, number one, reuse video. That is my 
That is the first growth hack. Reuse video, my favorite tool. That is my favorite tool, but reusevideo.com is not the actual name of the tool, nor is that the website. I am their biggest affiliate because it is, I'm their biggest power user and their biggest affiliate. And because I didn't even plan on being an affiliate for them, but they offered an affiliate program and I'm like, well, I'm going to share this anyway. So it makes sense. And so I bought the domain reusevideo.com. I redirect it towards my affiliate code, which is too long. It has all these numbers in it. It's too long to actually say on any video or any podcast. And if I put it in a video and that video goes viral, then I get a, I get a good amount of money through it. And I do this for all sorts of tools. I do this for my podcast, this personal podcast. I do this for my newsletter. I do this for everything. And it's an easy way to get people to go to your longer links. So you can put these longer links in videos that you are making and Instagram reels that you are making. And that's it. Those are my top five advanced Instagram strategies for building your brand in 2024. These are advanced. I think these are pretty advanced. A lot of them are pretty nerdy. They came from me just analyzing Instagram day after day after day and trying to learn as much as I can as fast as I can. This is episode 173 of The Edward Show. This is my daily seven days a week growth hacking, growth marketing podcast. It's Christmas. It's Christmas Day. I don't stop. It is Christmas Day right now, December 25th, and I am still recording. I don't stop seven days a week, and I love it because this is my obsession. Growth hacking is my obsession. If you like this, you can check out my weekly growth hacking newsletter, edwardsturm.com forward slash newsletter. And if you're not ready to subscribe to anything, you can also just see an archive of all of my newsletters at edwardsturm.com forward slash articles. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Merry Christmas. Bye now.